Miles Malik Truitt. I am born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, East Side, Glenwood Road. I'm an actor, entertainer, entrepreneur, I'm triple threat, and do it all if I need to, if the money's right. I had became an actor. I wanted to be a basketball player. I really wanted to play basketball. And I was around the age, maybe like 10 or 11, and I wanted to go to this basketball camp, and the slots were filled up. And my mom was like, you either want to go to camp, uh, you know what I'm saying, at the Northside Hospital where your um, grandma works at all summer and stay with her, or you want to go to this acting camp. And I, I was like, man, it's a whole bunch of girls, you know, we can't really go outside, we can't play ball, we can't do anything, we just learning acting. Well, that's what I call the acting, quote unquote. Thinking it was going to be boring, but I enjoyed it. So I kept going and I went to this um, acting group called Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. I'm YEA and I had joined their organization with Miss Debbie. And uh, ever since then, I just went on open casting calls. And my first one was for New Edition on BT. And New Edition story called my mom back saying I got the role for Lil Ronnie. <laughs> That was really just the start of my career. I want to say I'm a pretty good liar, but like I tell everybody that knows me, everybody lies. And you lie at least twice a day. 50% of the time, the person you lie to, they believe you and they take it. It's just a, a, no, a normal, natural thing that people just have to enhance on and use it to their advantage. Josh and John Baker on um, that directed the movie Ken that I was in. They really, really went in depth with me when it came to acting. Like, I think that's really where I started my acting stage. Like, I learned how to be a cinema cinematic actor rather than just being animated in Disney and this, that, and the third. No, it takes, ta it takes actual skill and motivation and um, dedication and focus to actually hone in on what you need to do on in that exact sec same second and put it on camera and execute it numerous times it's mentally exhausting as well because you have to go in and out of yourself and another character as well providing my mom with a job i could say that um because she was being being her being my manager she had quit her job right before i booked my first ever gig on tv she was there right after the fact and i she i was hired for my job righteously she should have been being her being my mother so for the, the years in her just being there make sure my auditions are sent in make sure emails are being uh resent i think that's just a blessing in itself just providing my mom with a job and bringing money back into the house well, something that i want people to know and take from what I'm gonna show them in my YouTube series is that I'm a human being and that I'm normal like anybody else. I still do dishes, I still take my dog out, I still clean up poop, you know? But I still have some type of motivation and dedication to myself to be at the top level with certain people that you see in those different statues. Because I'm the same person like you, but it takes a certain type of dedication and motivation which you can uphold yourself to get to where you want to be or where you need to be in a sense. I don't know what to expect yet. You know, that's really how I felt about my first project, New Edition. Yeah, oh my God, it's a, it's a, it's a big movie. My first movie, you know, I'm gonna be in one of these cameras or something, but I don't know the outcome of it. I'm anxious and ready to see what my future is holding for me.